we are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person that has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If one manages to break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you right? Yeah, it's not me. It's my mom. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I asked why? Well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I... I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't... I don't know. Alright. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing. Try to get a good view of the house. Okay. Alright, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you.
While at the station, a situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. There are three, and only three, scenarios that you will handle with a caller. When a caller needs the police, send available personnel to the address. When the caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. When the caller has a medical emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital. Here at the Mandela County Police Department, we thank you for viewing this instruction. Nothing is worth the risk, nothing is worth the risk, nothing is worth the risk.
reached the Bythorn Paranormal Society. How may I help you? Hello? Uh, may I schedule an appointment? Of course, ma'am. Where's the location? My home. One. Okay, thank you. Would you mind giving me a brief description of what you've been experiencing? I've been hearing things. Like what, ma'am? I still hear the meows of my old cat, Johnny, but the little guy passed away a few years ago. <sighs> really? A freaking cat alternate? Shh! I don't think it's an alternate. I just think his soul roams the house still. I want to make sure he finds peace in whatever realm he resides in. Do you think you could help guide him? We can certainly try, ma'am. When would you like us to visit? As soon as possible, please. When's your next opening? Well, we could do tonight if you want. Can you do three nights? I'm away from home on a business trip. I'm sure this will give you enough time to deal with him. Uh, well... How about 500 a night? Oh, hell yeah! All right. Sounds like a plan. Uh, we will help your cat, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you can think. No problem, ma'am. It's just what we do. Hey, back it up. Back it up. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You sure you got it? Yeah, just open the trunk. Now, are you really sure you got it? Cause I can- Just open the damn trunk, Jonah. <laughs> you think we got anything we actually needed? Oh. Not like we can do anything about it now. Shit. You got anything left? Uh... No? You used everything already? Damn it! Well, we don't gotta worry about income anymore, since we got this massive frickin' payday, right? Uh, well, we got a couple options. Which are? We either, one, ask someone to help start our car with the cables, or... Steal another one? Yeah. Uh, it's broad daylight now, but it's not like anyone's gonna call the cops here. Right. And we'd be doing yet another delinquent act. But it's not like we aren't already on the run anyway. And who's to say that she's not even crazy? Who's to say she's not as high as I'm going to be in 30 minutes? Uh, I would hope us. Because the last thing I need is getting a weird house call from a stoned lady about a dead cat, and then there'd be nothing, nothing there. Nothing there, 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 there. Right? Half of me thinks that there aren't even alternates. And the mayor was just too stupid to just make that entire uh, infographic. Yeah, but then, like, why are we getting, getting so many calls about alternates in the first place? Well, maybe because every- maybe it's mass hysteria, right? Do you think this is the rise of the war on alternates? I don't know. I'm- we're just two guys driving-
there's one camera in there already, but it's one of those old ones with the tapes and stuff. It will record, but I won't be able to see it in real time. I'll just have to look at it afterwards. Here, kitty, kitty. Everything okay? Are you at peace here? <laughs> you look so stupid right now. Dude, what am I supposed to do for a literal ghost cat? What's... What's it gonna do? Just... Us to death? Like, what are we doing here? Would you mind taking this seriously for once? I mean, in the end, I don't really have to take that much seriously at all, because I'm in here, and you're in there, and you're... Yeah, because you were too scared to go inside to begin with. Not too scared. I'm not too scared. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm not. I just... I'm allergic to cats. You seeing this? Uh... The door? It's locked tight. That's kind of weird. Trying to... Um, do you have anything to, you know, tear it down? I'm not gonna bust down this random lady's door. It's fine, she's not gonna find out. Anyways, moving on. So you, uh... You see anything in there? No, I mean, there was nothing besides that weird kind of locked door. Not a meow, not a noise, nothing. See anything weird on the cameras at all? Yeah, I'm not. I'm just going through this. I don't think I see anything either. I mean, who knows? Maybe that thing's just locked downstairs. Yeah, the more... I'm not going to lie to you, The more I look at this house, the more I... The more I really don't want to be in that. I mean, I don't see anything. I think we're just kind of babysitting an empty house for three nights. I mean, I think the best thing that can happen is we just leave now and then we say we were here the entire time. Because... I'm, I'm looking at this house, and I'm looking at this footage, and even though there's nothing too threatening about it, I don't, I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's literally just an empty house, bro. Can you suck it up for three nights? <sighs> Fuck what? Where did that come, did that come from? I think that came from the house, man. I really don't like this now. I'm the opposite. This is kind of interesting. I don't... I don't, don't, don't think you should go in there now. I'm going back in. There's... there's something... ...deeper than a cat here. I think that's the problem. I... I think it's fine. You're over... Realize what this could do for us? Do what for us? We're already on the run. We don't need this attention again. Do you like it or not? I'm going back in. Adam, please. It's too late. I've already made up my mind. How did you die? Where are you from? What year were you born in? Are you lost? Am I coming through? Loud and clear. Oh my god, behind you! Shut up! You see anything on the cameras? Oh my god, behind you! Dude, cut it out! Oh my god, behind you! Dude, seriously, stop! Oh my god, behind you! Behind you! Behind you! Dude, fucking quit! What the hell did I do? Just forget. Uh, what are you, what are you saying exactly? Dude, that's not funny. funny. What's not funny? Let's take a tiny bite. God's probably not even looking. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. It was good, but suddenly I feel kind of scared. Wake up, Adam. Do not.
Hey, I lost visuals on cam three. You think you could check that out? taking this seriously. Dude, I don't know what you want from me. I'm as serious now as I've ever been. <laughs> this whole time, huh? So you fucking with me was you being serious. I get that I screw around sometimes, okay? But that's just what I do. Well, maybe it shouldn't be. Look, man, I'm just devastated that I'm not as broken as you still are with everything that's happened, and I'm sorry that I can't keep helping you carry this burden. What does that have to do with anything? But I'm reaching my fucking limit here. These things have taken so much away from us, yet you still run to them every chance you get. No, I don't. Fucking listen to me! You're not invincible, okay? I know you thought that when we started doing these fucking death marches. And nothing happened, and I get it, but this right here is real. And you should know that more than anybody. What's that even supposed to mean? I wish we never looked for your m because she is dead and gone, and we were never going to get her back. What did you just fucking say to me? And I'm sorry that these are the lives that we lead today, but Adam, if you walk down those stairs, you'd be joining her. And if by some miracle, you come back out, I don't think you'd be yourself, and I'm telling you right now that I won't be here to confirm that. Well then just fucking leave then! Leave!
are you? Did the right thing. Nobody is coming to help you. Jonah? You there? Do you understand? What's wrong, honey? Everything's gonna be okay. There's no need to cry. Hey. Hey, what's up? You started crying again. At the same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't know how to help you anymore. Are you absolutely sure it's not the... No. No, I, I keep telling you, it's not... I've had it unplugged for weeks now. I mean, I guess I can come over and help you figure it out. Are you free tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? You promise you'll actually come over this time? He's still your child too, you know. I swear to God, Lynn, if this is just an imaginary friend or something, I'm gonna lose it. What do you mean? Do you... Realize how young he is? My favorite. It'll be so, it'll be so overpopulated. There will be wars. All nuclear explosions and everything. So I just tend to today's chores and let the good Lord worry about tomorrow. What about us? We'll always have Paris. Speed hundreds of telephone calls, as well as television programs. Nothing but lightning, to say the least. I learned a lot about myself and 
I hope my colleagues in this room have learned just as much about me as well. I will never stand down for my base values, no matter how far up the ladder I go. While I may not be the most um, spoken type, I protect and serve my city with pride, and I'm grateful to be rewarded as such. Thank you all. Officer, uh, one of our students, Mark Heathcliff, uh, he's been absent for the past couple days without any reason, no phone calls from parents, no doctor's excuse, and we don't have any apparent emergency contacts on file for him. If you could have someone pay a visit to um, uh, the three... Avenue ...and make sure everything's all right, it would be much appreciated. Oh, and if someone could try to get the contact info for whoever answers the door, that would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you, and have a nice night. Sheriff's Department, open up. Police, open the door. Jesus Christ. I do realize you just got promoted, right? You don't have to work on this bullshit case anymore. Listen, I, I got a lead. Okay? It's got some evidence to review still. That's it. I'll believe it when I see it. See you later. Alright. Lock the door on the way out.
to open the door. No. I am not going away. Mr. Davis, I understand that you were hoping that I would be able to recover the contents of all of the tapes that you sent in along with your request note. I was only able to recover maybe about two minutes from one of them. I'll be copying my recording of it onto this one right after this. I, I mean, I hope this helps you with the rest of your investigation. If you need any more help, you can call me back or just send me another letter and I'll be waiting a response. this voice speaking to me through my television set? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Stanley. It is very nice to meet you. Consider me a friend, because I might consider you one too. I like having friends. How many friends do you have? That's great. Would you like to know a secret of mine? I can make friends appear out of thin air. What was that? You want to know how? Well, I can tell you, but you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. Great. 
First, we must consider what makes up a good friend. What do they sound like? What do they look like? What colored eyes do they have? Always remember the most important rule. If there is a new friend that lives in your head, it is best to put it is best to put it is best. They're just as scared as you are. Okay. Have a friend in mind? Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Now just close your eyes and think really hard about your new friend. Can you keep an even bigger secret? I think it worked. Your new friend is somewhere in your house. Now it's up to you to go and find them. Nine one one, what's the emergency? Please, you gotta help me. There's someone in my house. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what they got inside. I cut my doors and we those locked for mine. Alright, all right, just, just calm down, okay? We'll get this figured out. So you stay quiet. Are you hiding? Yes. Does this person have a weapon? I don't know. I can't tell. Is this person threatening you or your family? No. He just stares in the corner. He's not taking anything. He's just standing there. I think my wife is hurt. I don't know what to do. It's going to be fine. You just need to calm down. I want to look at his face again. Okay. All right. Um, does this man resemble anyone you know by chance? No. What? I have never seen anyone in my life that looks anything like him. That can't be right. That doesn't make any sense. What? What? I'm sending over one of our officers. Just don't hang up, okay? I just got a 1015. I'm heading over to the place now. Damn it. Okay. Um. What? Did you get a similar call? I uh, believe we got a home intruder. I apologize for the silence, sir. What's your address? Sir? Thatcher? I'm going to need some backup here. What are you talking about? Where's the others? The officer that was already checking out the place just pussied out. Jesus. Okay. Um, Bruce, what's the address? See anything? Negative. Yeah. You hear that, right? Just stay behind me, okay? No, Weaver, we don't, because everyone else fucking left. <sighs> Sorry. Got 10.56. Someone's fucking... Up. Camera. Shit. Camera's down, Weaver. Weaver.
Hello? Hello? Identify yourself. Identify yourself. This is a police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Look. What do you want? Tell them there, I'm gonna find help, okay? Just meet me at the station. Requesting backup. 1078. Requesting backup. Ten eighteen. Requesting assistance from available Bythorn units. Dr. Davis, MCPD. 1018, requesting assistance from available worksheet units. Best friend, he likes to hide, but he wants to meet you. At 